So does this sound familiar to you? You've accumulated a whole bunch of Qantas frequent flyer points and you've heard about how amazing business class flights are. The luxury, the amenities, the great food. Except when it comes time to booking a business class reward flight with your freaking flyer points, there's never any available. I've been in that situation more times than I can count. Qantas reward flights can be notoriously hard to book, especially for premium cabins and longer haul flights. But in this method, I'm gonna show you three different ways of how you can book business class reward flights, and each method that I'm gonna show you drastically increases your chances of actually booking a business class reward flight. And make sure to stick around to the last method because I actually managed to find business class reward flights return from Melbourne to Europe, so you don't wanna miss out. But the first thing that we need to understand first in order to help us increase our chances is to understand how Qantas releases its reward flights. So when it comes to any domestic and short haul international flights, Qantas always releases their reward seats 353 days out from departure. These seats will be available to all frequent flyer members regardless of their status. So it doesn't matter if you're a gold frequent flyer or a bronze frequent flyer, everyone will be on a level playing field. So the best bet when it comes to booking domestic and short haul international flights is to book as early as you can. Now, when it comes to booking reward flights for longer haul flights to let's say Europe and America, this is when things can get a little bit more complicated. Now in the past, Qantas would actually follow the same procedure and release their reward seats 353 days out from departure, except this time your frequent flyer status did play a part as to when you could actually book them. Gold frequent flyer members and above could access those reward seats 353 days out from departure. Silver frequent flyer members could access them 323 days out from departure. And then bronze frequent flyer members could access them 297 days out from departure. This is why it's almost always been impossible to book business class reward flights if you weren't a part of Qantas's elite frequent flyer member. But things have actually changed. There doesn't seem to be a set pattern as to when Qantas releases the reward seats anymore. Instead, reward seats now seem to be released in batches and don't follow any set pattern. So they could be released 330 days out from departure, 300 days out from departure, or even 250 days out from departure. Now this does make it harder to plan. However, it does level the playing field for those who aren't a part of Qantas's elite frequent flyer status. So the best bet is to just continually monitor the dates that you're looking to fly, and then to see whether or not reward seats have been released for those dates or not. Now, one thing that hasn't changed is that Qantas always releases their reward seats at exactly midnight GMT, which is equivalent to 10 a.m. for people in Melbourne and Sydney, or 11 a.m. during daylight savings. So you might wanna set up a reminder in your calendar each day to see if there's been any new reward seats released for the dates that you're trying to fly. All right, so now that we understand how Qantas releases its reward seats, we now need to understand how Qantas's partner airlines also release their reward seats. So if you didn't know, Qantas is a part of the One World Alliance, meaning that you can use your Qantas frequent flyer points and redeem them for reward seats at any one of the partner airlines in that alliance that you see on the screen here. Now, what you see on the screen here is just the main ones. There's more that I haven't actually included simply because there wouldn't be enough space on the screen. Now, Qantas doesn't control when those airlines release their reward seats. That's up to those airlines themselves. So they control the timing and the quantity of reward seats. So it can vary from airline to airline. For example, Emirates releases their reward seats 353 days prior to departure. Singapore Airlines releases theirs 355 days prior and then Etihad releases theirs 330 days prior. So it can vary from airline to airline. However, overall, most major airlines will release their reward seats a good 300 days in advance. So once again, the name of the game is to book your reward seats as early as you can. Now, whilst your status tier will play a part as to when you can book Qantas reward flights, it doesn't play a part with regards to Qantas's partner airlines. So now that we have an understanding of how reward seats are released for both Qantas and all of their partner airlines, now it's time to get into how to actually book business class reward flights. So the first method that I show you is the method that Qantas actively pushes on its website. And then after that, I'll show you how the pros search for business class reward flights. So let's get into the example. So once you've logged into your account, the homepage is where you're gonna be able to search for flights. 
you need to toggle on the use points and then just input the dates that you'd like to fly. So let's say we're flying to Melbourne to Amsterdam and let's try to book as far in advance as possible. So let's look at dates in May. Now, when you play around with the dates, it should show you which dates have business class reward flights available to redeem. And it can be referenced by this kind of a red ribbon in the top red hind corner. So one of the main drawbacks with using this method is that whilst we can see which dates have reward flights available, we can't easily see what cabin class that is. So it could be an economy class, it could be premium economy, or it could be business class. So with this process, we'd have to continually play around with the dates until we find a date that has a business class reward flight, which probably isn't too optimal. So once you've selected your dates, you're also gonna to wanna to click on flexible with dates because this will just increase the chances of you being able to search for business class reward flights. Now the first page that you get directed to isn't the page that you're gonna to wanna to look at. This page shows Qantas's points plus pay option which is probably one of the worst ways to redeem your Qantas frequent flyer points because it's just simply not worth it for the amount of points that you would have to use to redeem that flight, which is also probably why Qantas puts this front and center. Instead, you'll need to filter on the reward seats option and this will show you reward flights only. So unfortunately, a common site that we're all pretty much familiar with, there's no business class reward flights available for the dates that we chose, only economy class. Okay, so the first method kind of sucks. Now in the second method, it's gonna be a much better way of searching for reward flights using Qantas's website. Okay, so right back to the beginning, except this time we want to now click on the multi-city option. And then on the next page, we're gonna to wanna to click on the use points classic reward flights only. And then you're gonna to wanna to enter your destination and dates once again. And don't worry if it's only for the one flight, the tool will still work fine. And then voila. Now we have a much better view of the available reward flights for the entire month based on the cabin class specifically. So following this method, you don't have to play with different departure and arrival dates. You can just see on a monthly basis which dates have business class reward flights, which will enable you to book those that much more easier. Now, one of the main drawbacks with this method is that we still can only see flights that are predominantly operated by Qantas themselves. So we can't see all the reward flights available with all the partner airlines in the One World Alliance. And that kind of leads me on to the pro method, which is hands down the most comprehensive way of searching for business class reward flights. So let's get into it. So using the British Airways website is by far the most comprehensive way of searching for reward flights across the One World Alliance fleet. This is an absolute game changer when it comes to booking international flights and finding the perfect route for your next international holiday. So you need to sign up for a British Airways executive account, which is totally free. And then you'll need to go to the top here once you've logged in and then click on the book a flight with Avios. You'll then just need to search for the flight that you're looking for. So let's input our flight details. So leaving Melbourne to Amsterdam, flying on the 14th of May and then returning on the 30th. We can just leave the class as economy. Um, that's fine. And then let's search. So this search can take a little bit of time. So be patient guys. So flying outbound from Melbourne to Amsterdam, we have two economy reward flights available with Qatar, which is fine. Qatar is actually probably one of my favorite airlines to fly with. Now let's select the option with the shorter flight time, of course. And then on the inbound flight, voila, we can get business class flights from Amsterdam back to Melbourne on Qatar's Q suite, which is probably the best business class out of every airline out there. So another great thing about this method is that it actually tells you the number of reward flights still available, which makes booking with a partner or a friend that much more easier. Now, once you've found your perfect route, you'll then just need to call up Qantas and then give them the flight details, like the flight number and the dates, and then they'll help you book it in using your Qantas frequent flyer points. Now, I actually played around with the departure dates even further, and I was able to find business class reward flights flying from Melbourne to Amsterdam as well. And that my friends is how you book business class reward flights like a pro. So for all of the naysayers out there who say you can't book business class reward flights, especially when you're in a lower frequent flyer status tier, jokes are on you. 
Now, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you are looking to book business class reward flights, you're gonna need a lot of frequent flyer points. So make sure to check out this video right here, where I talk about the best Qantas frequent flyer credit cards that have the highest signup bonuses and also the highest earn rates as well.